Good evening. This is Open Thoughts News. I'm your host, Charles Young. Breaking news story today. Rachel Dozell, a president of one of the NAACP's chapters, has came under scrutiny for falsifying her ethnicity. Rachel has been stating that she has been an African American woman for the past 10 years. Take a look at this. Would you identify yourself as an African American? I actually don't like the term African American. I prefer black. And I would say that if, um, you know, if I was asked, I would definitely say that yes, I do consider myself to be black. One question about this, Rachel acts oblivious to what the question is. Take a look at this. Flying. Are you African American? I don't, I don't understand the question. Oh, I guess she couldn't get that ebony tan. Here's my take on this. Did anybody stop to check her paperwork before they elected her in? How did anybody let this slip by them? I mean, come on, she had to be doing some white girl stuff. Like, no one noticed that she was just fashionably ordering Starbucks for no reason. Like, I mean, no one checked to see if she could clap her hands on beat. Or even if she could do the electric slide. Or maybe even check the internet to see if she was at one of the Coachella events. Rachel even posted a tweet stating how she was going to go natural. And no folks, she wasn't talking about her ethnicity. Personally, I blame the black African American electees for this one. White woman infiltrates a group of black people. And the only people that is confused about it is the black people. Like, white people knew hands off that she wasn't black. That's why you don't let old black people vote anybody in. I mean, did you see some of the chapter members? All of them had trifocals. What is interesting to me is that most people don't know that the NAACP was actually founded by a group of white people. So ultimately, I feel like she's in her place. And here's the thing, I don't even understand why everybody's so mad about her falsifying her ethnicity. Bruce Jenner turned into a Kardashian and everybody loved it. And I'm pretty sure that Rachel shouldn't lose her job just because of her ethnicity. Hell, she's probably have done more jobs for black men than most communities would ever do. To me, this story is a success story. I mean, come on people, let's think about it. How many times have you heard of a confused white woman thinking that she's black, infiltrating a black organization, not only became a member of that organization, but also the president, coming to find out years later that she is not who we think she is. Oh, I guess we already have that story. And to you, Miss Rachel, just because you may dress up and look like Shanene, doesn't quite necessarily mean that you are Shanene. I am your host, Charles Young, and this has been Open Thoughts News. Good night. Why don't y'all ever cut me off?